Yeah, so I'm going to reposition it and see how that works. That might fit in there just right. If there's any angle, it could be just because the camper's still not stable until I screw that down firmly because the only thing holding it up is these stainless steel shafts for now. Now what I've done is untuck this from its hole and it hangs down now, which makes the water run off and out, except for the back. So, um, originally this was the drip edge, right? So the rain would come down in and out. But here it was longer to cause it to run out better. So I need to figure out how to stop rain getting in here for now. But as long as there's not a downward slope, it should be okay. I'm not sure yet. But I'm keeping this on for now as sort of a uh, an exterior protective layer. And I'm wondering, no, I can't. See, that goes up inside. So that's the problem there. So I, this goes inside here. And I can't get the cloth in and behind there. So I've got to figure this out. That's the only that's the only issue I've got trying to figure this out. Everything else is gonna be pretty good. Pretty cool. Um, I'm fighting against time because it's gonna to rain today. And then I'm gonna to have to get windows in here afterwards. And it's getting hot in here. That's the other problem, it's getting really hot. So I'm definitely gonna need some windows in here. And uh Probably four. And in some fans. I'm going to have some solar powered fans going on in here for uh, airflow. But here's what we got going on so far. This is the housing for my solar powered cryptocurrency mining operation. So this is where it's all going to happen. So I'm definitely going to need some serious airflow in here. Um, some fans, absolutely going to need some fans and some windows, but also they're going to have to be safe and secure. Now I'm going to leave this part in, pl in place and the bench and kitchen area. And then my mining rigs I can put on shelves here and probably have them vented straight outside. So I'm going to work on that once I get the walls up, then I'll start cutting windows in. But I'll figure that out. we got a lot to do before then. And then the ceiling has been crushed. So when I get to this back wall, I'm going to have to... That's going to be a, a, a struggle and a fight to get that in, but I'm going to have to push with the board up and try to get that leverage back into place and uh, to where it's supposed to be. So that's the job at hand. I'm going to go out probably and cut this piece next. First I'm going to see if that'll slide back. If that'll slide back firmly and square then we're good to go. And then um, get this one done. Well guys I got the front wall in. Just tacked in place. There's not much meat up there anymore to hold on to. But when I frame in the ceiling that'll hold everything in place. And uh, that'll be a necessity to help hold the snow load in the winter. You can see here the Roof is broke. I actually got crushed. All it is is uh, paneling and styrofoam. And then the sheet metal outside with a little bit of wood trim in, in between to hold it together. It was a very light camper. So I've got that pieced in. I've got to get some, uh, some wood to secure it in place. And then I've got to figure a way to hold that in place because that's not going to stay up like that. But when I get the uh, corner pieces in, that'll lock it in, obviously. These uh, these two. Um, giving it some thought on the door, I'm not yet sure. I'm probably going to try to use the original door, um, but I'm not yet sure exactly how I'm going to make that fit here around the door frame. The original uh, fastener I've taken out, and then I'm going to put plywood all the way through but we've got, um, the back wall is done. I still have to move this one over because it is square. And then I've got a good share of the uh, long side wall done. I've only got one board left to do here. But I'm leaving that for last because of airflow. At least I get air through here and out the door right now, which is helping me a lot. But 
Yeah, so, um, as you can see, that one's coming loose from my walking around. I think I'll try to tack it in place somehow. And then, I'm going to measure and cut around the doorway. I think we're going to get it. It's supposed to rain today, so I'm in a hurry. But it's so humid and hot, it's slowing me down. It's hard to be in a hurry when you're slowing down from the humidity. Well, guys, here I sit in my future mobile cryptocurrency mining farm off-grid solar powered so far I've got everything but the door framed and uh, this one over here but bad weather is moving in so I had to clean up for the day because I had all these sheets of wood laying out all over the place and I had them uh, there was um, pallets on top of that and tarps on top of that and then more pallets on top of that to keep that from blowing away and I didn't want to get caught in the rain and ruin my wood so uh, so far I still have to move that one and the door is gonna go on just fine so I have to readjust the whole roof so I have to undo the boards that I did put on so when I undo that one anyway I'll just knock out uh, these two boards on the side wall and then I can readjust and the door is going to hang right in place where it always was but that's it for outdoors today I gotta go in I've got my electronics came in the mail so I'm gonna start working on the Arduino microcomputer the microcontroller and I'm gonna start building the alarms and the control circuitry for this place get the rest of my tools put up everything outdoors I've cleaned up and I came in here to grab the camera and uh, tell you what's going on here but it's good to have the benches it's comfortable to kick back and relax and look what I'm doing and think about things and I like like it I like it it's gonna be alright see it's going to work out just fine. Perfect for what I need. I can put a lot of computers in here. I can build the shelving right on the walls when I'm done. It doesn't have to be pretty. I have decided that I'm going to want to go with some box fans. So I'm going to look at some low wattage, high flow fans in the coming days here. And I'm probably going right out these walls. Let me show you what I got outside. Now if you remember there were this was a slide out pop-up camper and the slide outs come out quite a ways so I'm probably gonna keep those as a sort of a tarp and extend them and then have the the blowers going through. So the original excess material from the slide outs will now give me a protective covering for the blowers which is great and a little bit of sun shading on the side wall of the the room itself so that's it for outdoors um, the rest of the stuff will be on my electronics channel so watch for that and it's the do-it-yourself world electronics and I'm going to be doing the microcontrollers and I'm going to have the everything is going to be a hundred percent automated alarm system security lights security cameras um, I probably won't show the stuff when I connect connect it to Wi-Fi but I probably will have Wi-Fi as well for alarms we'll see if I share that or not some of the stuff I'm gonna to have to keep undercover but there's gonna be some top security here and all controlled by a microcontroller and if somebody thinks they're smart and tries to pull the power, uh, it's going to have its own battery backup that'll last a couple months, as well as its own solar panel to keep that charged. So that'll be fully independent uh, system. Anyway, that'll be all in the electronics channel, along with uh, turning on and off computers as the sun becomes available, or as it fades in the night sky, or as a storm comes in. That'll be fully controlled by the Arduino microcomputer. Alright guys, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project.
another day comes to a close. Talk to y'all later. Please like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell icon down below. And get notifications of future uploads.